Good morning, it's the Crafty Nana here. So I'm just going to show you my two finished uh, potions boxes. Um, is one of them is going to its new home today, um, and I thought it would be a shame not to get a view of it before it goes. Okay, so here we go. This is the one I made for Tilly, um, which is got a very glamorous young witch on it um, or wizard if we're using it in the plural sense and then this one is the slightly smaller version that I did for Freya and um, obviously that's a, her um, in her wizarding robes um, so I don't know if you can remember what was inside Tilly's one it had Oops, I'm trying to open it. Um, it had her codex, it had her spy pen made into a little wand, it had her crystal topped crystal top pencil. Um, yeah, that's a spy spy pen. So when you do invisible writing, you light it up with a blue light and then you can read it. Very useful. That's her codex. Um, this was her basilisk tooth, which she used to smash a horcrux with. Very useful when there's uh, lots of horcruxes around. Um, time turner, compass, um, all her various potions, which got, all got used on her birthday. Um, she, oh, she's eaten the bees or to counteract one of the poisons that she um, came across in her challenges. So yes, yeah, so that was um, Tilly's box and I think she was very pleased with that and I think it came out very nicely and she's very happy with it. So yeah, so that one's hers. Pop that back underneath so I can pop it away and that all shuts down into there. Um, Sasha did lots of challenges and messages in her codex. So this is more of a, a, a sort of stationary kit or a writing traditional um, writing box as well as a potions kit so when we open this one up now we have um, everything I've sort of went for amethyst so I've done everything to sort of fit in with that scheme so we have the blue candles uh, for melting the sealing wax the sealing wax is here um, to the box of sealing wax um, and then to imprint on the sealing wax I made a seal which has got a, a star with a gem in the centre um, and I made that to match all her other things. I didn't put the silver on the bottom because I thought if she sticks that into hot wax it'll then stick. Um, so yes, so I made a little handle out of crystal and amethyst um, and a seal for her. So she's got a little set of bottles here that she can fill up with various potions. She's got uh, red um, cobweb oil ink and she's got black squid ink here for writing with. So then she's got um, the glass writing pen which is here. She's got the crystal pencil here. She's got a little frog which is obviously a, an ink rest for putting the inky pen on once it's got ink on it and you don't want to get it splashed all over your paper. This is the spoon that I made for melting the, the sealing wax into. Um, so I actually used one of the foil holders for the candles and I bent it up and I put a wooden handle on it, it's a real twig, I put some amethyst and, and um, I used the clay so that um, it's, I don't know if that's a bit too close up, so that it's um, a little spoon for her to melt over her candle to melt the wax and then use her seal to seal her letters. I think that makes it sort of quite fun. Um, and then there's a little crystal wand here which I've shown you before um, and then I just put a little porcupine quill in there because you never know what you're going to need something pointy for. So she's got writing pen, pencil, pen rest, wand, porcupine quill, candles, compass and on the back of the compass I put a mirror because you know it's quite useful for all sorts of things sending messages flashing lights all that kind of stuff then she's got her seal and she's then got her potion bottles and um, 
she can put whatever she wants into those and then she's got her coloured inks. I mean she might be, if she gets a set of coloured inks she could put all lots of different colours so that she's got that to go with her writing kit. But yes, all in all I think that's rather lovely. The, it's hand marble paper um, and I lined the same paper for the pens as I put inside behind the potions. And it's all in the purple and the green to match the amethysts. Obviously purple elastic on this one instead of the red that's on Tilly's. Um, and that's her kit. Um, and her mum's going to come pick, pick that up today. That's why I thought I'd probably be quick and uh, do a little film of it. Otherwise it'll be gone and you won't ever get to see the finished the finished item. I've got to stop putting my fingers on these whilst they're still damp. Um, right, so there we go. That was that project. Quite happy with that. I enjoyed doing it. It's um, always fun to create something... Um, that's useful as well as gorgeous. <laughs> anyway, my dears, I will carry on now. I've got a few more of the shrines to get going on and um, I'll catch you later. Bye.